Helen's Bratton Lomond residents were urged to vote yes for an independent Scotland when Chief Executive of the Yes campaign Blair Jenkins visited the town. Mr Jenkins addressed a crowd of invited guests during an event at the Victoria Halls. Groups from around the area, including Yes Helensborough, Yes Labour and Yes Young Scott, were also in attendance to answer questions and show support for the campaign. The purpose of this meeting uh, tonight in Helmsborough I think is twofold. First it's to bring together a lot of people who already are determined to vote yes, convinced that independence is the right choice for Scotland. But this, the other purpose, and it's just as important, in fact perhaps even more important, is to begin to talk to and listen to those people who are still making up their minds. And that is probably at least half the population right now are still open to the argument and want to hear the case, the evidence, um, the reasons why Scotland needs to be independent to, to get the right kind of future for our country. Two really good reasons for voting yes in the referendum are fairness and prosperity. And I think these are two key themes that will come to the fore as the debate moves forward. And what we mean by fairness is that Scotland as part of the UK has become one of the most unequal and most unfair societies in the developed world. The UK is the fourth most unequal society in the Western world and is on target to reach the top of that rather dubious league table sometime pretty soon. I don't believe that's the way in which Scots want to live. I don't think that's the kind of economy, the kind of society that people in Scotland want. And there are consequences of living in an unfair society. It produces uh, really bad mortality rates. We have the, with the worst mortality rates in Western Europe. We have dreadful health inequalities, and that's down to unfairness. The, the other side of that coin is prosperity. We have to grow the economy at a faster rate than it's been growing in the last 40 years, because it's only by creating a prosperous, growing economy that we can provide jobs and services and the standard of living that people people in Scotland want. So I believe those two key themes will form part of the platform for the Yes vote next year. I think the future of the Faslane base is obviously of great importance to people in this area. Now, to large me in a large measure, what actually happens to the base will depend on which party wins the 2016 election in Scotland, because different parties will go into that election with different proposals for what should happen to defence and defence arrangements in an independent Scotland. If you look at the the argument or the suggestion put forward by the current Scottish Government it is that Faslane would become um, a conventional uh, defence base, a conventional naval base. It would in fact become the Joint Forces headquarters in an independent Scotland. So the likelihood in that scenario would be there would be at least as many jobs in Faslane and surrounding area linked to the defence requirements of an independent country as there are currently to manage, manage and look after the nuclear programme. Uh, tonight's event is an informal reception um, we were delighted to um, invite in particular uh, Blair Jenkins, who is the Chief Executive Officer of the Yes campaign nationally, to come and speak to us. Um, we thought it was important to invite the movers and shakers of Helensborough and Lomond, and uh, we tried to identify as many of these people as possible. Um, and I, th I think we've been relatively successful in getting them. Uh, my apologies for anyone who have missed, uh, but uh, we will manage to uh, meet them and talk to them. Uh, and we, our intention is to try and get around all the doors in Helensburg and Lomond between now and the, uh, and the referendum date, uh, so that not just to persuade people to vote for, uh, for Scottish independence, but to think seriously about what it means. This is, not, uh, this is not a political campaign, this is about a national movement. This is about creating the kind of future we want for ourselves, our children, our grandchildren. Uh, as Graham said, it's a, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, it's an historic opportunity. The Yes Young Scots role within the campaign is to bring awareness to young people. We're not trying to force you into voting yes for independence, we're trying to educate you, we're trying to make you aware of what the choices and the options are for both sides of the campaign. Um, I believe that uh, this is a, a wonderful opportunity that uh, we have been given in our generation. Uh, no other generation has ever been given this opportunity to vote for Scotland's future. And whether you're for Scotland being independent, you're doubtful about it, or you're hostile to it, um, you should seriously consider it um, and, and think deeply about it. Uh, because there, there is so much misinformation about, about what it means to be Scottish and what it would mean to be independent. I think a yes for an independent Scotland means uh, a better life, a more prosperous life for everybody, and that would apply to the people in Helensburgh as well. Um, I think a yes vote is about opportunity, it's about hope, it's about people taking their own future into their own hands, it's about the opportunity to make a better life for everybody. I support the yes campaign because I truly feel independence is the best way for Scotland to go. 
The Westminster government is fairly undemocratic in representing Scottish politics as a whole, let alone youth, and that's something which I think key. Uh, I've always felt that youth has always been undermined, and not respected, and not listened to, and that's my reasons for voting, is because there's not a huge democratic representation for youth in politics, and it's as simple as that. What we're doing this year is, in addition to providing all the uh, answers to people's main questions on our website, is we are proactively going to be pushing out information to people. So rather than you having to come to us, I think it's very important this year that we come to the people of Scotland right around the country and give them the answers to questions. So that's the thing we'll be doing this year. We will be providing all the information people need, all the answers to all the questions in the form that people want. If they want it as, a, a, as an app on their phone, if they want it as a printed document, however they want it, our job this year is to get information to people about why they should vote yes.